Okay, so in this video, um, I'll show how to make your Panopto videos previously recorded uh, and or uploaded uh, to Panopto available in your Moodle course. So in the, the tutorial blog post on my site, uh, there's a section called Making Your Video Available on Moodle. With a, a fresh Moodle co uh, course, you'll want to do this little, the first time, uh, block here. So um, it says we want to add the Panopto block to Moodle, and there are good instructions for doing this here. I'll show you quickly because I noticed that um, there's a course here, the uh, Probability and Statistics course, that uh, has not had that block added yet. So if you log into Moodle, navigate to your course. Uh, Moodle page. Then on the bottom of the left hand side, make sure that you have this menu open. Um, you can click add a block. Available among these blocks is Panopto. Go ahead and click that. And this new Panopto block will be now available here. Um, if uh, there is a link here that says provision this course, go ahead and click that. Um, it it um, just makes a course folder um, in Panopto for uh, for this course. So this one is already provisioned, so um, we don't need to do that. So that's uh, how to add the Panopto block. So that's this section. Um, after that, you don't need to do that. So it'll always be there now. This Panopto block. It'll show completed recordings here. Um, I don't find that to be particularly useful though when I am teaching or when I'm loading in content to Moodle. I don't think the students are going to necessarily be um, uh, excited about navigating this and it doesn't allow me to structure when they watch this video and watch that video. So um, the Panopto block is somewhat useful but uh, uh, there's another way of adding um, these videos, Panopto videos, to Moodle with the Moodle integration that I that I recommend. So for that, um, go ahead and go to the thereafter section, and I'll be walking us through this portion of the of the, the blog post the tutorial. So uh, I've already got a couple in here, but say I didn't. Say I'm looking for um, uh, to add a couple of my Panopto videos to the main Moodle course page. So if I have this organized in a weekly format, then it'll have week here instead of topic, but this is a Moodle page with topic format. Um, so in either case, there'll be these block elements here on the main page. And um, you could have this be some new module, like module two. And say you wanted to add some videos here and tell them, okay, watch this video, then watch that video, that type of thing. We want to go to edit. If this is not available, of course, as you know, right click, turn editing on. It's already on, so that would turn it off. Uh, so under module two, I can hit edit, edit topic. And then I could add um, some text here. So say, here are some videos, and maybe I want it to be um, a, a bulleted list. Um, first video, and I want to insert a Panopto video here. Make this a little bigger. So I want this first video to come into Pan uh, uh, to Moodle. There is a Panopto button here, um, and it's available on all the text editor uh, uh, sections of the Moodle page. So if you click Panopto, it will show you under that course, the course that you're currently working in, um, that folder, what's available. So you can also go to my folder and insert from there, uh, but most of the time you're just going to want to insert something you already have in that folder. So say I wanted to put in fake session here, uh, that the previous videos were um, using as an example. Um, you can also choose to upload from your computer right here. So you could upload 
um, uh, to Panopto from here. So uh, Moodle isn't going to host any of these videos on itself. So we won't run into any file size issues or anything like that. Uh, so you can upload a video here, but this is actually uploading to Panopto and not to Moodle itself. It'll appear in Moodle, it'll be embedded in Moodle, but it won't be taking up space on the Moodle server or run into any of those limits. You can also record from here. Um, I recommend recording from the other software um, as shown in the previous video, uh, just because um, sometimes this, this interface is not quite as um, easy to use. So say we want to add this video, you can add multiple videos, you can select multiple if you like, and insert. And we see this preview of the video show up. We could hit enter and we could add a second video. And an opto, um, say I put in a test three video that I did earlier and insert, and that shows up there. Uh, notice if you're having issues with formatting, this is a what they call a what you see is what you get editor, and it can be a little bit challenging when you've got a lot going on here. You can always view this in its HTML version if you'd like and edit the HTML directly. Um, for most folks though, that's not what you, what you want to do. So stick with the what you see is what you get editor for the most part. Um, and you can add in other things, just the usual things you can add in Moodle. Um, a random thought here. Okay, so now you've got it. Save changes to that module and module two now has uh, here are some videos first video is here so this is what students will see for the most part um, uh, I'll turn editing off this is pretty much what students will see um, if they just click the video illustrator is what I usually use in Brightman so they'll just be able to watch it I had already started it so it started in the middle, middle. Uh, both the primary source and uh, they can sort of watch it in their regular way that they like changing the speed and all that um, and also the table of contents shows up here you can do comments here and then there can also be items you can search within so there are some of the the uh, panopto uh, features show up here in this little and pull down However, uh, there's a more full featured experience, which I recommend we tell our students to do, which is to click the watch in Panopto and now I'm recording um, button. Uh, so when they, you hover over this video, there's this little arrow, watch in Panopto, and I recommend that you use that as, um, um, so that they can see the, like the notes and the, um, the bookmarks, and uh, they can also change different settings in terms on and the quizzes and whatnot will all pop up. Um, so it's a better experience to watch it in Panopto itself, but um, that's a way to show up, have the video show up in Moodle um, and have students interact with it. And finally, I wanted to show you how to add uh, Moodle videos or Panopto videos elsewhere in Moodle. So you're in your test course and maybe you want to add a page that has um, uh, Moodle videos or Panopto videos inside of it. So turn editing on and let's uh, add an activity or resource to this topic uh, three section and let's add a page. So we can add a, you can give this page a name. So a page for topic three and we can include, here's a video. We can add in say fake session there and hit insert and it will embed that video there um, you can also click display description on course page so this is could be the description that you give it and it shows up on the page um, you could also give it content that includes a video so 
here's some content with a video. And you can include a video, let's say test three. Insert, great. Uh, and you can edit other aspects of this page as usual. And let's save and return to the course. So now we have uh, a page showing up under topic three um, that includes uh, a video in the description. What's nice about doing it this way is that the, the course progress check marks so that you can have students manually check mark these bo uh, uh, this box to say I've completed this part just for their own uh, keeping track is available if you add it as a separate page. It's kind of a nice thing um, if you're going to be placing them uh, multiple in one topic. Uh, it allows students to keep track of which videos they've watched. Um, they can also do that under their Panopto uh, uh, home page as well, but um, this gives them a nice interface within Moodle to keep track. So uh, if you wanted to, so this is in the description, if you wanted to look at the page, we actually added a video to the content of that page, which shows up here, so they could watch this video. Test, test. Right there. So those are all options. Really anywhere where you have that text editor, you'll have that Panopto button. So um, you can even insert these into quizzes if you like. Um, they'll show up uh, pretty much anywhere. So you could, you could include as your quiz, um, watch this video, then answer this question, for instance. So a lot of options, and this just shows you a few of them.